Hey coach, Roger Leip here from the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Southern Illinois. I believe, and I've been saying this for decades, that I believe you are the most influential people in our culture. Without equivocation, I believe you have more influence directly face-to-face -face with more people, and you guys as football coaches in particular, even more so. You have a whole slew of young men hanging on your every word, every practice, they're listening, whether they appear to be or not, you are incredibly influential. Absolutely. Not toward what end is the issue. Is that really good or is that really bad? The nature of your influence is a really important thing. To what effect does your influence go? Toward what end? I believe there are three levels of influence that coaches have, and I'd like to think, have you think with me about them. I think there's short-term influence that you have. You make guys better football players. Absolutely. You improve their technique. You help them understand the game. They get the strategy. They become better football players. That's a short-term end, yeah, and that's good. I think that's a good thing, that they become better at what they do. That's short-term influence that has a real result. There's also a sense of long-term influence where you make young men better. You may break cycles of foolishness or poverty or bad decisions or who knows what in families by your relationship, by your influence with them. They become better men. They become better husbands and fathers. And suddenly those guys long-term have become much better men because of your influence. I believe that to be true. I've seen it happen countless times with young men through our university here at Southern Illinois. So there's short-term, certainly there's long-term influence that you have, but I believe there's also eternal influence. I believe that coaches are uniquely qualified and uniquely enabled to share the love of God with people and watch them see their lives transformed. I, don't, I can't even tell you how many coaches I know that have seen the life change take place in the players that played for them because they watch their coach, they observe his life of faith, and they say, I want some of that. And they're able to ask either the coach or their pastor, what's special about that guy? Or they ask their team chaplain or whoever it is, and suddenly they've had an everlasting effect on that young man's life. And by ripple effect, sometimes the family, other people around them, girlfriends, whoever, that whole life is changed and then consequently many more around it. Men, you are incredibly influential, certainly short-term, certainly long-term, with bigger life change kind of stuff. But then eternally, I believe, you can also be influential for the kingdom of God, for the betterment of those people, for their eternal benefit. I would challenge you, use your influence, short-term, long-term, eternal, in a way that best benefits everyone and best changes the lives of the people you coach. Go after the influence, short-term, and long-term, and eternal. Let's have some of that, and let's watch lives be turned upside down, transformed by the power of God. Thanks, Coach. We believe in you. We love you. Bless you.